Okay, my first YouTube video ever. I promise it's only my sixth take. So let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Rubber Hands, hence the rubber gloves. Cut myself in an earlier take. So uh, basically, why am I here? I love knives. I love sharp, beautiful, all kinds of knives, all of them. I love them all. And I got tons of them. So a little while back, a genie in a bottle, Aladdin, this is a real story, told me, why don't we make a YouTube channel? You know, we got so many beautiful, expensive, useless knives. Let's at least show people. I said, sure. So we spent half an evening. It was four o'clock in the morning. We made a 16 minute video. He posted it on YouTube and nothing happened. We woke up the next morning, we're more embarrassed than anything. So here I am, round two. Why? Coronavirus. Um, find myself home, sharped all the knives as many times as I can. Gonna have no more blade if I continue sharpening. So I said, why not? Let me make a YouTube video, see what happens. So basically, I got tons of knives, very expensive knives, one of a kind knives, and the knives that all you guys carry out there, basically. Um, I'm gonna basically try to make one video a week if I can, showing you one of these beautiful knives. I gotta stop using the word beautiful. Uh, so yeah. Made myself some sort of a organizational sheet, but that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna nick Shabazz you guys and tell you about specs and screw sizes and all that kind of stuff. I just wanna show you a pretty knife, tell you why I love it, why it's one of my favorites. A lot of you guys email me, talk to me on Instagram, you wanna trade. No, I do not trade any of my knives. They're all my babies, I love them so much. And we're gonna have a knife this week in the first video. Why do I have this particular knife this week? Basically because it's gone to the top of the list within 16 hours of owning it, for many reasons. Check out that sheet. First of all, located in Canada most of the time. Unfortunately, can't carry crazy automatic long ass blades. We gotta stay under three inches. And this guy takes off that box. 2.8. The Whippersnapper from Olamic. This is a fairly new knife. Just got it in the mail, honestly, 12 hours ago. And I absolutely love it. It's got all the Olamic features. Point number one being one of one. All they do is custom pieces. Every knife is gonna be one of a kind. They do make slight models similar, but you're not gonna see this anywhere else. Another part that I love 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 so much it's the sheep's foot look at that blade it's such a handy blade sheep's foot it's rare warncliffe sheep's foot they gotta be my top kind of blade shapes just because it's so practical look at this toil you know what a knife so this bad boy has quickly overnight become my everyday carry here in Canada. This is just beautiful. It's short, small, compact. It's steel's got CPM 20 CV. Look how thick this is. I mean, pretty thick for a little knife. Must be half an inch. We're gonna call Nick. Ask him about this half an inch, but I don't know. Whippersnapper. The name says it all. It sounds like a whippersnapper. You guys stare at that for a bit. I got this bad boy off DHL Trading. I love them. They're the best service in the world. And they generally get like these really one-offs and this is a gun coat white 
I believe, on a base of titanium. So yeah, it is a pricey knife. I believe it was 600 bucks US, something like that. That's like a million Canadian dollars for me since we have Monopoly money down here. But yeah, if you Canadians want to spend a thousand bucks on a knife, please do. This knife is perfect. Love it. Okay, so I guess that's video number one. Probably do some, I don't know, adjustments in video number two. But that's what we got for video number one. The Whipper Snapper Sheep's Foot Gun Coat White Handle Number One and my EDC Carry Officially of Today. Okay, talk soon, guys.